Ahoy from, from the, the middle, middle of the ocean. ocean! We're Madison and Ivan, and today's mad adventure is exploring the Virgin Scarlet Lady. Not just exploring, cruising. This boat is going to take us to Mexico and the Bahamas, but today we are going to focus on the incredible offerings here on the boat from the amazing food to the spectacular shows and more. Like there's so much to be explored here. So we are cruising with Virgin Voyages, which is a relatively new cruise line. But what really sold it for us is that they do cruise without kids. They definitely seem to be targeting millennials quite a bit or people that just want to travel without kids and get to be kids themselves. Get to enjoy things like 80s workouts and college parties with giant pong. And the restaurant selection is amazing. It's not your traditional cruise line all eating at the same time in a formal dining room situation. It is so cool, so amazing. There's so many restaurants you can get Korean barbecue, Italian food, fancy food, a test kitchen. Um, so many options we're so excited about. There's over 20 eateries here on board. And in this video, we are going to explore every single one of them to find out if this really is the ultimate cruise line for foodies. So I've actually cruised with a few cruise lines in my life. I've cruised with Disney, Carnival, and Royal Caribbean. But this is our first time cruising with Virgin. Their maiden voyage was less than a year ago. Uh, but this definitely has the potential to be my all time favorite cruise line. From the fact that we get to be the kids here because there are no kids allowed, to the incredible food selections, to the show selections, to just the vibe that they're trying to create here. Like, I'm so excited to explore more of it. And I mean, even just starting off getting here on board, the rooms are spectacular. We have also brought our friend Zach, wow. <laughs> who is a first time cruiser. So I am excited to hear about cruising with Virgin from this cruise Virgin. Ah! <laughs> the metal's hot. We mentioned the incredible room, so let's check them out. Oh, look at this. Yes. Welcome to our crib. I haven't actually looked around here yet either because as soon as we got on, had to start making reservations to make sure we had our lunch reservations, make sure we had the workout classes we wanted. Um, so we got, I mean, a decent little spacious closet. Got a good little size safe, drawers. Like this is good. Got our fridge in here. I don't know if that'll fit the wine we brought. You're allowed to bring two bottles of wine per cabin. This thing controls everything. So like if we're feeling hungover in the morning, Dims the lights, closes the curtains. Really more here. I'm just waking up, not feeling too great. This is pretty cool. Get it on. Ooh, the light on here turned pink. Oh, all around it turned pink. The song. It's playing music. <laughs> that is awesome. That is so fun. Oh, so what I saw too that's cool about here is that like this bed can also be made into a couch. They can, there's several different seating setups that we can select on here for them to like go ahead and arrange. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable, pretty nice, especially considering the amount of furniture things that it'll change to, that's pretty great. Okay, now for the view. So we got our balcony room, but we got a cheaper balcony room by saying that we were okay with our view being a little obstructed. But this isn't too bad. All you gotta do is zoom in a little more. Look at that. Yeah, and the safety boat kind of reminds us that uh, we're on a boat. You know, we're not just at a hotel. Like, this is a safety boat. We're on a boat. I think we'll know on a boat when we're out in the open. Okay. <laughs> and if we want, if we need to get on a safety boat, they didn't say this in the safety video, but it honestly looks like a super quick jump to right there. Um, but then what we were most excited about was the hammocks. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet. I guess the downside is you can't exactly see the ocean too well when you're in the hammock, but you'll be able to hear it. You can see it from over there. You can see it from over there. 
Yeah, we saved like $400 being willing to have an obstructed view, so I'm okay with that. Okay, now for the bathroom door. I'm a little nervous about this part. Cruise bathrooms are notoriously horrible and small, so. Now for the moment of cruise truth. A teeny tiny bathroom. But they made it nice. Like there's still the good lighting on the mirrors. Got I love that they gave us makeup towel. They did still go, you know, like it has the waterfall shower from the top. It has like this little shower jet thing. Like they did, like despite the fact that it is, it is still just a small cruise bathroom, they did incorporate some things that made it definitely like a little bit more luxury than your average cruise bathroom. I definitely feel like it is more spacious and is a little bit nicer. The lighting's than really nice, huh? Any cruise you've ever been on. Yeah, the lighting is great. And so this does feel good. You know, you get your bright, bright, beautiful makeup lighting. You get your waterfall shower. Soap smells good. Yeah, good stuff. Mmm, they smell like <laughs> It's called Ocean. Wow, guys. Kept it on, on theme. Yeah, it's not, not bad. They have a variety of movies that we can watch. Yeah, excited. Definitely the most modern cruise I have ever seen. And now, if we're going to explore over 20 eateries while we're on board, we gotta get started before this boat even leaves port. First stop, the Dock and its sister restaurant, the Dock House, for some Mediterranean eats. The food at these two is fine, but the highlight is definitely the view and the vibe. Next up, ice cream. I got the brown butter financier on a vanilla cone from that place. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good thing I can't plug. Next, we have the galley, the food court that is home to nine of the ship's eateries, as well as a coffee shop and takeout coolers. There's the daily mix with a salad bar, ordering breakfast, Ivan's favorite fast spot with a bagel bar. Then there's the burger bar offering a French toast burger that Zach loved. And then there's Diner and Dash, the only 24 hour restaurant on board with delicious breakfast foods all day long. There's bento baby with sushi for lunch and dinner or fruit bento for breakfast. Next there's let's talk about it with tacos of course. Noodle around which is their ramen spot and was a huge and very delicious surprise. Probably my favorite thing we actually had at the galley. There's hot off the press with paninis of all types. The sweet side, which is serving up delicious desserts all day long. Those are really yummy. Well bread, which is home to all delicious baked goods here at the galley. And Popstar, the cutest little popsicle cart. I got a chocolate banana popsicle. This thing is excellent. 10 out of 10. Excellent. Mm. Highly recommended. One of the most essential places in the galley for my trip was quickies. Pre-prepared grab and go eats that are perfect for the mornings when you're getting ready for an excursion or just want a charcuterie box at any time of day. They also have a full room service menu when you're on board where you pay $5 for delivery and the rest is included. But we're cheap. <laughs> Next, there's the social club with hot dogs, boozy milkshakes, and all the popcorn and candy you need to feel like a kid while you're playing at the arcade. Our last two quicker eats options are Sunclap Cafe for poke bowls and the pizza place, which was delicious. If the cruise had been longer, I definitely would have come back here and it's open late at night. And now to set sail on some of the finer dining options on board. These six restaurants we were able to make dinner reservations for as soon as we booked the cruise via the Virgin Voyages app. And two of them offer brunch, which we were able to book as soon as we connected to the ship Wi-Fi. This is The Wake, known for its view of, you might have guessed it, The Boat's Wake. 
There were lots of tasty options here from the filet mignon to the baked Alaska, but we all agreed that our absolute favorite thing we tried here was the bone marrow. It's so good. We also ate here for brunch where they serve yummy Benedicts and Bananas Foster French toast. Y'all, the brioche bread on this boat is out of this world. And anytime you see it in any dish on the menu, you should definitely give that item an order. On the topic of brunch, our next restaurant is Razzle Dazzle, a veggie forward restaurant that still has several carnivore friendly options. And I loved my coconut milk berry toast. I mean, just the look of it itself, like the brioche toast with the rainbow sprinkles, is just gonna be super fun. But the, the brioche was actually so, so good. The condensed milk, like the sweet flavor was incredible. And the sprinkles, I mean, it's just a fun decoration, but it was really cute. <laughs> so my favorite thing I just had was definitely the frittata. It was excellent. The smoked salmon was a sneaky surprise there. Just perfectly, perfectly flavored, but not too salty. It was just a side, and I almost didn't order it at all. I like saw it last minute and like waved him down. I was like, hey, uh, can I add the smoked salmon too? <laughs> Razzle Dazzle is also known for its milk and cookies. The cookies were good, but the Biscoff cookie flavored milk is incredible, and so are the servers that work there. Next up, Pink Agave, known for having the largest mezcal and tequila bar in the middle of the ocean. We explored Mexico all day, and now we get to continue to explore Mexico with the delicious food here. It is the ship's modern Mexican restaurant, and we went after spending the day on shore in Mexico as our transition out of one of our favorite countries. There is a fun variety of dishes, some of my favorites being their take on cochinita pibil and the dessert taco. Now for what is equal parts restaurant and experience at the test kitchen. It's the ship's experimental restaurant with a fixed six course meal and the menu we're given is just a list of ingredients, one representing each course. Ours said mushroom, egg, scallop, venison, blue cheese, and chocolate. They also offer a drink pairing package. Zach got the beer for 25 and I got the cocktail pairings for 35. Six delicious gourmet drinks for $35. Everything we ate here was absolutely delicious. The first course mushroom dish I would gladly eat every day for the rest of my life. And I don't even like mushrooms. The smoked egg was amazing. Everything was amazing. Down to the people who worked there. We Highly, highly recommend this place and the drink pairing combo. That was a winner. Oh my gosh, this is by far my favorite meal we've had so far. I don't know if it can get better than this. This was delicious. Oh my goodness. One of the most popular restaurants on board is Extra Virgin, the Italian restaurant serving up homemade pasta at sea. Our favorites here were the Carpaccio, Oxtail Ravioli, and Affogato's for dessert. And finally, Korean barbecue at Gun Bay! This has got to be one of the funnest restaurants in the middle of the ocean anywhere, and it's one of our favorite dining options on board. You're greeted with shouts of Gun Bay when you enter and invited to play a soju drinking game with free soju once you take your seat. 14. This place is so fun. <laughs> It's so much fun. They come around um, all about the soju. They teach you this really fun drinking game. Zach won. I ordered the K-pop drink and it was served in a disco ball and filled with pop rocks. You can put it next to your ear just to listen to it. Oh my god. Korean barbecue played over the speaker. I would say the vibe of this place is everything. But the food was also everything. Zach loved their chicken so much that he ordered four bowls, yeah. even one for dessert. Mm. So, um, How many bowls of these nuggets have you had, Zach? All of them. <laughs> I think this is bowl number four. I cannot recommend this enough. You need this in your life. You need to try this. 
We loved everything we had here, but some of our favorites were the forever crispy chicken, the Kobe marinated short rib, the seafood corn dog. Excellent. Wow. The flavor on this is spicy and sweet and seafoody all at the same time. And the black sesame swirl soft serve with miso caramel. So good. So is Virgin Voyages the ultimate foodie cruise line? Between the test kitchen, gun bay, and on the go charcuterie boxes always available. I ate too much. How could they not be? <laughs> we love taking a bite of all Scarlet Lady has to offer food wise today. We'll be posting more on this cruise adventure, including the activities we did to try to burn some of the calories we just ate, from workout classes to dance parties to exploring Virgin's private beach club at Bimini. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Join us on the next one, and until then, live your own mad adventure.